Today we're going to be going over the Orico bundle with a SSD and a SSD enclosure. I do have to mention that they did send this out to me for this review, but anyways, let's get straight into it and look at the actual devices. So here is the actual enclosure, it comes with a USB-C to USB-C, and you guys could always just use a normal USB-C to USB-A cable if that's what your computer needs. But it's just a very short cable, simple, but looks good and solid. When it comes to the enclosure, we have a clear case that looks very nice. It's a very unique look, and I love the way and how solid it feels. You guys have a big metal block up here, and that's where you plug in the USB-C. Now to open the case, all you guys do, make sure that the actual logo is facing up. Now I'll take the top piece and just push down and pull to the side. So now the little clear piece just pops off. You guys could see the little radiator right there. It actually comes with two of these. One comes with the actual SSD, then one comes with the enclosure. Now we're just gonna pull that off to see the next piece. So it all came off together, but I'll basically show you what's going on here. So we have a little thermal conductor right here, and this is what transfers the heat from the NVMe to the heat sink. We're just gonna pull this off to the side for now though. Now you guys are left with the actual NVMe SSD. So you guys could see the notch layout right there. There's no problems with fitment with this case. And overall, it's a very simple design. The chips are all covered by the sticker though. Here's the rest of the case. You guys could see there's not much left. You could sort of see the board and they do give us these little rubber gaskets. So you guys don't really have to mess with the tiny screws that the NVMe's normally use. Basically, you just press this into the hole that you guys need, depending on the size of the drive. For me, it's gonna be all the way back here. So you push it in and now it's staying there. Now you take your NVMe and you just slide it into the end here. And now we're just gonna tuck this under that rubber gasket. And now it'll keep that in place without even having to use any tiny screws. If you guys are having trouble, a trick that I learned is to just do this, get the little rubber piece just the way it needs to be on the drive and then press it down. Just like that, it's staying in place. Also, it's very important that you guys take the little plastic protective layers off of the thermal conductor, otherwise it's not gonna work. Now we're just gonna put this on the top. Now all we're gonna do is just gently set this on the top, sandwich it with the little radiator, and then all you guys have to do is put the top of the case back on, slide it into place and you guys are basically good to go. Just put that USB-C back in here and I'm gonna plug this into my PC. You guys should hear the computer actually recognize this device. So I just heard it and it immediately pops up with the drive D right there. Also, I did wanna show you that there is a little light on this thing. So it actually shows you when it's plugged in and being used. So that's about it for this SSD and SSD enclosure. Overall, it's a very simple product. It gets the job done and it looks pretty good.